This is not meant to sound profound. It's, it's one of those statements people have when they're stoned. And they write it down, and the next day they, they look, they think they've discovered truth, and the next day they look at what they wrote, and they realize how foolish they are. But, uh, let me say it anyway, life is really complex. And when you enter into the world of sociology, any world whatsoever, but sociology nonetheless, or as well, life's really complex and the issues are complex. So when we look at something like immigration or refugees or anything related to the social world, but let's just stick with immigration, especially when it's a hot button issue, the factors and forces that you have to bring to the conversation if you want to try to understand them are not factors and forces that you're going to discover sitting down with your friends at a bar drinking a beer or listening to a talk show or listening to the president of your country past or present or future or whatever the case is or going to a single class even a class that's dedicated to the topic but certainly not this class this class is, is only good insofar as you can learn how much you don't know by, every, by just listening to the things that I say from lots of different places on the spectrum. And then once you, when you realize you don't know, then you can begin, we can, human beings can begin to understand what's going on. Because you learn what's going on by learning what you don't know. I mean, that's the starting point, right? Me, I start with the idea that I don't know. And I, but what I know is that just on immigration alone, hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds, thousands of very well thought out books and monographs have been written about immigration. And probably hundreds of thousands of pages of policy recommendations have been written about immigration from all sides of the political spectrum, taking into account factors and forces that for any one of us, it would take us a lifetime to begin to understand what those are. So when I hear somebody Maybe it's some talking head on television or who knows what it might be, who they might be, talking about something like immigration as though they're really simplistic issues. You know, whether it's Barack Obama or Donald Trump or somebody from some random university or think tank somewhere, I'm blown away by how simple they are trying to make this appear to be and coupling with how complex I know that it is. And so for me, for example, I spent two years, when I did my master's degree, I spent two years studying immigration pretty thoroughly. I took probably three classes on immigration and I wrote a lot about it. I went to conferences where I talked about it, did some research on it, and I, I didn't even scratch the surface. I just learned how ignorant I was, which is really important. Because it's really, for me, as someone who teaches, it's really important for us to know how ignorant we are because that allows us then to stand up here and say stuff, right? So keep that in mind as we move forward. Now, what was interesting about last class for me was um, just presenting different sides of this issue and knowing that I could just go into this I could have just picked one side and I could have just walked in here and spent the entire time making that argument if that was my political and ideological perspective. And I could do that with any issue related to this class. Just pick kind of one particular side of the argument and like walk down those stairs. And you wouldn't know the difference. Some of you would say like, well, I don't know, my uncle told me this or my parents or I read that or what about this. But mostly these are issues that very few of you think a lot about. And so I could come in here and just walk down that one path. Or I could walk down this other path, a completely different one. And you wouldn't know unless you've been thinking about it. And I'm telling you, human beings do that all the time. We just cherry pick. So I basically, when I was putting this, that class together, last class, I was just cherry picking different ideas that I was going to apply to the different sides. Now, mind you, the one brother up here was saying, yeah, it seemed like I was more enthusiastic about critiquing 
the people who are anti-immigration. Well, there's, there's more to critique on that. There, there's, just, there's more to critique. Because there's more like, there's more to critique related to economics. So I can draw on economic factors and forces and economic data, and I can make a much more persuasive argument than critiquing the people who tend to be more pro-immigration. Where there, is, there are some Im economic data, which I threw out there, but it's also morality and ethics comes into this picture. Like, well, it's the right thing to do, and these are human beings, and that's just harder to really get under for me. I can do it, but I can't do it quickly like I was trying to do last class. So, yeah, I was, I'm sure I was a little more enthusiastic um, from the one side. Okay? Are we, are we good on that? But you, you all saw, right, how I just cherry-picked? Dude, so hang on a second. Do you understand how profound it is that I could walk into this class and just give you one side of an argument and not the other. And you would never know the difference. Do you get that? So what makes you think that the people who you look up to and think are really smart are not doing that in your life? What makes you think like your Uncle Bill or whoever it is that, you know, has got all these really strong ideas, like he's really liberal or he's really conservative or your Aunt Sandra, or whoever it is, or your mother, or your father, or your grandfather, who's a really smart guy, and you really look up to him. What makes you think that he has really examined all sides, or at least even two sides of an issue? It's like, dude, come on, man. We don't, we don't even really do that. Like, we get locked into some ideological perspective, and we go for it, especially in the world of sociology. We tend to be a little more left-leaning, and we come in, and we just give you a... Our, the, the perspective, we, we, we sort of carve it up, we box it up, and then we just package it to you as if that's truth. People are doing that all, and it's done in the hard sciences, and it's done in the soft sciences. Sometimes when you get to be my age, stuff is more mind-blowing than it is when you're at the age of most of you, not all of us, but most of you. You get to my age, and it's mind-blowing. Because it was my, I've never done that in class before, where I took a single issue and took two sides and just cherry picked what I wanted to do. And when I got done with that, I, I was blown away by how much of my life I have spent not fairly presenting multiple sides of issues. And I'm like, I've been teaching for 33 years. I'm like, what a jerk off. Woo! <laughs>